y'all. I'm really angry. First of all, I was already angry this morning. I ain't got no earrings on. I was already angry this morning, right? So, I walk in. I walk in at 8.03. Well, I park at 8.03 on my truck. I mean, this is a few minutes behind me. Anyway, there's neither here now. I just got in my truck at 8.30 on the dot. When she came in, the first thing she says is, I'm pretty new to the game. I'm pretty new. Some she said. She said, I'm pretty new in here. And um, whatnot. So, uh, there's people parking. I want them out of my face. So, I just chuckled a little bit because I already feel like when she came in the way she said, I already knew we weren't going to do jack squat. So, she sits on a little... Um, rolling chair thingy and it's like you know how they be scooting in your face so she scooted up in the first the second thing she says is okay we're not gonna torture you today and when she said that my like my i immediately just got even more pissed because why are y'all not checking my cervix so she was you know, she was like, we're, we're, we're going to do, um, we're going to wait and do your blue sugar test next time. And we're going to, and then she explained why they were going to wait until the next time. I'm sorry if I'm staring, but I'm trying to wait till these people walk by. So, yeah, so she's like, we're going to wait until, we're going to wait until the next time to do it, blah, 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 the reason why and all that kind of stuff. I stopped listening at a certain point because I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't care why we wait until the next time for a sugar test. You need to be explaining why y'all not checking my service, not why y'all not doing no blood work, why you not asking me about how I've been feeling and all this stuff so she was like i noticed that you went to urgent care recently as well she said i suspect everything checked out fine and i'm looking in my head i'm thinking to myself i'm like well i guess so yeah uh for what they did check yeah she was like yeah i looked over it um everything looked fine why would you ask me if you know first and second first of all they did my urine test and then they did another swab at urgent care of which they never, as of today, as of right now, they haven't, which normally they run the results right then and there and put it in your portal before you even leave. They didn't do that. So I'm like, maybe they sent it off for a culture or something like that. So it's been three days. I went Friday, Saturday, Sunday, today is Monday, and they haven't um, uploaded anything in the chart. Not even regarding my urine. So I don't know, they did like two swabs in, in the urine. One was for the discharge. She said that she would check me to see if maybe my waters were leaking. And then she's checked um, then the urine. I've got neither results yet. And she didn't even bother to tell me. So I did manage to get the fact that I've got, I have the McDonald's her clodge. Um, but she asked me, I asked her, I said, at what point will, I said, because I haven't gotten any type of follow up, any, 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 like anything after the circulage. And she was like, um, well, we typically don't do, well, she, she was like, we don't check your cervical length after that because, um, at that point, there's really nothing that they can do unless you have bleeding or cramping which and I'm thinking in my head when she's saying that I'm like each time I've gone to the emergency room like I have my cramping is is terrible and I said and I don't even experience pain 
the same way people do. I said my previous pregnancies, I've gone to like three, four centimeters with no pain. I know I have the stitch, which is fine. Like I, I that's fine. But am I shortening? Am I funneling? Is something starting to ha like it? That y'all can't sit here and tell me y'all. There's nothing you can do because if I'm actually pushing labor then looking on the outside is not gonna do nothing like y'all need to be checking what's going on the inside like i'm hurting so um i told her i said well i said well actually the times that i've gone to urgent care it's because i've had i have terrible I, like i've had bad cramping and and pains and then um i was like and i have a high to high pain tolerance I said, that's why I would rather you all check it. And so she was like, um, goes on to explain why they don't do it. And was like, well, after a certain point, anyway, we can't do it. She said the, the circlage will hold until, um, 36 weeks and we'll take it out unless you go into labor and blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. And it's just irritating because each time that I've gone into labor, like I don't know anything. I don't, I, like, like, I'll get a few contractions and things like that, but if I'm going based off what you're telling me, like, I've read people don't even have bleeding with, when their circlage is, you know, doing, doing whatever. Yeah, it's, it's, like, she did nothing, like, I, and it, the, what what pisses me off even more is the fact that I came way up here at 8 o'clock in the morning to do n absolutely nothing. They have to stop it with this mess. If you're transitioning me to another old physician because I'm high risk and this, this, da, da, this, y'all need to watch this, blah, blah, blah. Then treat me that way. Do not have me coming to these appointments for nothing. Like, I did not, there was no way in my mind that I imagined that I would be coming up here at 8 o'clock in the morning. They were talking about in case they needed to do blood. But like, my appointment was originally at 11. And she called me two days ago and asked, could I come at 8 o'clock? Um, because the labs will be closing, which I ain't never heard it because they I've gotten let blood work checked unless it's just this specific location. But... Like, I would have never imagined that I would have had to come up here this early in the morning after you changed my appointment. Talking about in case I have to get blood work, they they can send my blood work off or, or test it or whatever for the last clothes. Nah, y'all just trying to get up out of here. I don't get it. I don't get it. And it's like, I'm... I'm so angry right now. Because not only that, I had to, like, dealing with my husband and his freaking job, that's pissing me off. I don't mean to rant, but y'all, it's just. And then I got a freaking ice pick headache that I'm considering going to the urgent care for, but they. I, it's like they ain't gonna do nothing. And then I did mention the fact that um, when I did mention to her that I do go to the urgent care, I have been going to urgent care because I've been having a lot of cramping. She says, yeah, and when you go to urgent care, they're only gonna do, we're only gonna do a uh, pelvic, she said something, pelvic exam to look. She said, because essentially if something is going on, they're only gonna look to see if it's opening like what like what i i, I don't want to be waiting until the last minute so y'all like honestly i want to call my um the nurse practitioner that i had i want to call her and be like i need somebody else 
Because it's not going to get it. It's not going to get it. Somebody's going to check my link. I, I this this not knowing what's going on and constantly having the same pain every day or every other day. I, it's not. I, mm -mm. But thirty minutes, and then I got so angry. Like I didn't even get to the whole point of. Cause I know I told her, you know, I said I was going to say, you know, tell her I need this, this done. I want to be what, you know, well, she did tell me after next time we're going to go to every two weeks. Okay. Which fine, but I'm not trying to be going to urgent because my thing is, I'm not trying to be going to urgent care all the time and they, and they don't do anything. I'm not. My circlage is getting lower. It's 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 just I don't know. Um um. Yeah. I'm stressing more than anything else. And it's like, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to keep going on and on about that because I ain't no reason to. But I'm going to find a way um, to um, get what I want done. Because at the end of the day, everybody's not the same and y'all not finna sit here and tell me y'all gonna check my service to see if it's dilating of course if i got a stitch it's not gonna it's not gonna always present as dilation i mean it's holding it together i've heard women red women as soon as they stitch come out they four centimeters like i don't know but anyway, I'm, I I don't even want to go pick up my child. I don't even want to. Because I got to figure out something to do with this headache. I, I, I just, I got to figure it out. I got to figure it out. So I'll see you guys when I have an update, a better update.